Gemini, welcome in, my beautiful Geminis. And this is going to be your end of August general reading. This can resonate if you have a Gemini as your sun, moon, rising, or Venus placement. Um, you guys also may be cross watching for a Gemini, so I do ask that you only take the messages as they resonate with you in your situation. Okay, anything that is not for you, leave it here. All right, Gemini. So let's get in and see what you guys have coming in for the end of August. I know when you guys this last reading, um, I was definitely feeling like you know picking up someone else's energy for you guys. Like someone is definitely hurt. Oh, <laughs> they were hurt. So let's see what um is coming in this time and if this is going to follow up on that. Wow, <laughs> definitely. And my palm is itching. Okay, let's get it. I'll take it, but bottom of the deck, energy Gemini's. We got the number five, conflict and defeat. Wow. <laughs> I okay, I already feel y'all. <laughs> this person's um energy is gonna be coming through. For some of you guys, maybe this is your energy, but we have conflict and defeat here. So someone is feeling a little bit like defeated mentally. Okay, for some of you guys, maybe you're having a lot of conflict. Maybe you've been in conflict with your person, maybe with people around you. For others of you, maybe you just feel like in this moment, like you just have so much going on mentally that it's just hard for you to like really deal with everything. You just feel like kind of retreating and just taking some time to yourselves. For some of you guys, this definitely may be your energy or maybe this is how someone else is feeling because we have emotional withdrawal here. And this is like someone sitting on the sand, like meditating, you know, being around water. Some of you guys may be dealing with a water sign, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces, or you can have that in your chart. But this is like someone really taking some time to themselves to meditate and get themselves, you know, back grounded. It's like someone's making peace with their emotions and their feelings after, you know, feeling conflicted. So this is very, very different. Harmony is here. Okay, so a lot of you guys, maybe this is in regards to your relationship. I feel like for some of you guys, there has been maybe some arguments, back and forth kind of energy you know, someone feeling a little bit emotionally withdrawn, closed off. But I do see harmony coming in for you guys, okay? So, you also have the spiritual strength. All right, so I definitely feel like you guys um, could be feeling a little closed off, Gemini, or maybe this is, like I say, your person, okay? I feel like after so much turmoil mentally and so much you know going on you guys are tapping inside of you and really getting this spiritual strength this is all about your resilience okay this is about you really really tapping inside of yourself and just pulling out that that inner beast the inner will your inner strength you know doing your prayers and really getting yourself grounded so you can just push through you know whatever you have going on and for some of you guys this is going to come through this emotional withdrawal or maybe this is why you're emotionally withdrawn because it's like you're you're dealing with something heavy or you're just dealing with a lot and you just need that that energy to kind of push yourself through all right so let's see wow y'all for some of y'all this is your person okay because i need you bad jasmine sullivan just came on somebody is like they feel defeated Someone definitely feels defeated. Maybe you have withdrawn emotionally from someone, Gemini's, and, you know, this is how they're feeling. But let's see. Wow. So look what came out, guys. We have nothing will come of this situation, and then a fiery climax approaches on the bottom of the deck. Okay. I see. So some of you guys, maybe you've had a disagreement or a fallen out with someone. Okay. With this, a fiery climax approaches... And this energy here, conflict and defeat, I definitely feel like there's been like a falling out or some back and forth energy or just some sort of situation that, like I said, things could have got a little heated. You know, you guys just may be in a space where you're closed off to your person or they're closed off to you. And I feel like someone is really, really worried while you guys may be in separation or while, you know, you guys may have had some words or, you know, just a situation that didn't really work out. I feel like someone is really worried. Okay, maybe, like I say, you're emotionally withdrawn. But with this, nothing will come in this situation. The way that I'm seeing it is like, this is not going to be like an end all be all kind of thing. Like you guys are going to come back in harmony or union with each other. There's going to be a sense of balance in the situation. Okay. So let's see. Let's see if Gemini, what's coming through. I'm definitely getting a lot of heart chakra um, energy. So 
all I see is green. Someone may like the color green. But I feel like you guys are definitely getting like, you know, your, like your heart space in order after some sense of conflict and defeat or just feeling just like overwhelmed. All right, let's see, Gemini's. Or maybe, like I say, this is your person. Take it as it resonates. What's coming in for my Gemini's? All right, we got the Emperor. Some of you guys may be dealing with a Libra. I'm sorry, ooh, maybe you are dealing with the Libra, but this is Aries Taurus energy. Wow, we have your energy here. Okay, this is definitely regarding, you know, someone's feelings for you or you guys' feelings for someone else. Very intense connection here. We got the Queen of Cups, Scorpio, Cancer, Pisces energy. And then the Knight of Pentacles. Okay, with the Three of Pentacles here. All right. So I definitely feel like, yeah, with this three of pentacles, the hangman is behind that. For some of you guys, there's been a blockage or there's just been like a an energy of a stagnation within the connection, okay? Like I said, maybe there's been some, you know, moments where you guys are just kind of tapping out or maybe this is how your person is feeling because it's been a lot of back and forth kind of energy. With this lovers and the emperor energy, I feel like there is definitely a connection here. Okay, and someone is very serious about this connection, Gemini's, whether this is you or your person. Someone is very, very serious. With this emotional um, withdrawal, I feel like whoever is emotionally withdrawn from this situation, the other person is feeling that conflict and defeat energy. Like, man, like, like what did I do? You know, why this person won't, you know, why is this person acting like this? Why, they're, um, why are they not opening up to me? You know, why they're not expressing their emotions? someone wants to bring things into balance or things back into harmony with you guys okay um with this queen of cups energy the knight of pentacles i definitely feel like someone is wanting to put in the work but i feel like with this queen of cups and this lover's energy it's like they they're trying to do it they're trying to patch things up emotionally i'll say that all right, someone is definitely wanting to patch things up emotionally. I feel like whoever this person is, is like they're very patient or they're wanting to put in the work. Let's see. Wow, the magician. Yeah, someone definitely wants to bring in this harmony. And I feel like whoever this person is, like I said, whoever is emotionally withdrawn right now, um, the other person is the one that's feeling this conflict and defeat. Okay, they feel like, you know, man, like, um, did I lose Gemini, you know, or is, is Gemini still in this connection? Is Gemini interested in this connection? Is Gemini want to be serious with me? Someone is feeling that. Okay, so let's see with the Emperor Aries Taurus energy. Why is the Emperor here? So this is someone uh, maybe older than you guys, maybe like a age difference. This is someone who's normally serious. Um, or very, very serious, okay? This is someone who's very, very dedicated. Why is this emperor here? The Knight of Swords, okay? With the devil. Some of you guys may be done with the Capricorn. But someone is going to communicate to you guys. Or maybe that was the communication. Like, someone is wanting, you know, like, wondering, are you guys serious? Are you guys committed? And I feel like someone is kind of, um, could have felt like someone was too controlling, and maybe that was what led to, you know, this conflict and defeat. Like, maybe someone kind of feels like, you know, there's a controlling kind of factor to this situation. And they're like, man, you know, do I want to be with this person? Am I really, you know, wanting to be serious? And maybe that could have led to some conflict. With this lovers here, I feel like it is a connection. And I feel like someone wants to know, you know, are you guys going to be serious? Are you guys going to continue? Are you guys going to put in the work? Are you guys going to surrender the time that's invested or are you going to move forward so let's see why the lovers here someone has dreads yeah nine of cups and the two of pentacles yeah look queen of swords libra aquarius gemini energy so like i said someone wants to be in this connection okay with this nine of cups two of pentacles energy i feel like someone is kind of juggling maybe this is you gemini like you know do i want to be with this person you know this person's a little controlling or maybe not even controlling maybe someone has a fear of commitment but someone is really going back and forth you know really trying to determine if they want to be in a connection for some of you guys maybe someone is juggling and they have two relationships in their you know, trying to decide, you know, who they actually want to be with. But I'm not really getting the energy. I'm getting more so of someone is trying to figure out if this is worth investing in or do they just walk away and cut, a, you know, cut cut ties. 
So let's see, clarify the Two of Pentacles. Oh, why is the Two of Pentacles here? Yeah, Ten of Swords. With the Queen of Swords here. Just like I said, someone is, you know, juggling, like, you know, is this worth um this effort, the energy, you know, the time, you know, do I want to be committed and serious to this or do I want to just walk away in this connection? So someone is really, really, you know, kind of questioning that. Even though there is a connection, they're like, you know, do I want to give into this or do I just want to, you know, walk away? Queen of Pentacles. And I feel like someone, um, you guys definitely may be dealing with a Capricorn, Taurus, and Virgo. But someone is like really, really wanting to get to this connection. Someone wants to put in the time and dedicate themselves. Gemini, this may be you. Someone is definitely very serious, okay? Um, clarify this, Queen of Pentacles. Yeah, Ten of Cups. Someone wants to wants to be serious with you guys. Someone is very serious about this, this commitment. You know, they're like, you know, um, I'll put in the time, the effort, the energy into this because someone can see themselves building with you. Okay, but with this Queen of Cups energy, I feel like whoever this person is, they have a lot of feelings and a lot of emotions. And they're really wanting to see, like, you know, where is this going? Is there going to be harmony? Are we going to come back together or do I just walk away? So, Gemini, I'm definitely feeling like um, for you guys... I feel like you're more so focused on, on your finances, okay? Or just, you know, making, like, the best moves with yourselves. I feel like you guys are definitely very, very withdrawn. Clarify this, Queen of Cups. Yeah. Ace of Swords with the Nine of Pentacles. You guys are going to let this person know. Like, I feel like this person may communicate something to you. Maybe you have a lot of, you know, back and forth kind of energy. But I feel like you guys are going to be honest with this person. With this Emperor energy, I feel like you guys are very, very focused on progressing in life for some of you guys maybe you feel like you know this situation isn't going to go anywhere but i feel like whatever the case is you guys are going to be open and honest with this person okay um with this queen of cups i feel like there is a lot of love here but i feel like you guys are not you're not really really holding on to this yeah look at this the full energy here aries energy and then the eight of cups some of you guys are like you know what i really just want to walk away from this and start something new or some of you guys are just not looking for something that serious right now. Maybe you're just open to, you know, adventure, wanting to have fun. You're not really wanting anything serious. Okay, clarify the full. Yeah, the page of pentacles with the devil. Some of you guys, um, it's like you, you're open to investing. You know, you do want something serious at some point, but right now I feel like you're really more so just focused on yourselves, what you guys are building, what you guys are wanting to um, bring into fruition. I don't necessarily feel like you're wanting to be that focused on love. I feel like you guys have just been through a lot generally, and that's not your main focus. Yeah, Page of Cups and then the Ace of Pentacles. For some of you guys, you can have a new um, opportunity coming in and a new job. Um... Maybe you're focused on buying a house, buying a new car. You know, I don't feel like love is your main focus, although there is a connection that you guys are not denying. I feel like you're putting your time and energy into this, but you also have other things that you're being attentive to. And maybe that's why, you know, someone is feeling like this. Okay, but I feel like with this Knight of Pentacles and this Page of Cups, you guys do have some sort of new opportunity that is coming in. I feel like this person may, you know, try to offer you some sort of... Um, yeah, I feel like this person is going to make an offer to you as well. Look, Six of Pentacles with the Three of Swords. I feel like it's going to be some mutual um, heartbreak in the situation, Gemini. But you guys telling this person how how you feel. And with this King of Wands energy, Leo, Aries, Sagittarius, I feel like this person is still going to pursue you. Because <laughs> look, the Queen of Swords is here. And they're facing each other. And she's like, okay, I'll talk to you. You know, we can communicate, but I'm still not offering you anything serious. Because we got the hangman here. Pisces energy. This is, you know, blockage is stagnation, not really moving forward, not really progressing. So I see you guys have someone in particular that's still pursuing you, you know, but I don't feel like you guys are interested. All right, let's see. Let's clarify. Wow, y'all got too many cards. Yeah, but I want to show y'all what's here. 
Y'all got four cards. I'm going to put these back, guys, and actually get one. But we have adventure. Remember, I say you guys are feeling more adventurous. You just want to be free. Leadership is here. This is you guys' emperor energy taking control of your lives. Time out. This is some of you guys, you know, saying like, hey, I just want to, you know, like fall back a little bit. I'm still, we can still talk and kick it, but I'm not really that serious. Follow your dreams and surrender. I feel like some of you guys are just going after what you, you want. You're not really focused on love like that. All right, let's get, um, what you guys, your message. Wow, look at this relationship change. 56, 11, that's a new beginning. So some of you guys, there are some changes that are going to be taking place. Um, I feel like for some of you guys, it is going to like, things are going to come into a, a sense of um, harmony. I feel like you guys are still going to be able to come together, but I feel like it's going to be um, some truth that's revealed. Okay. Patience is here with music. Some of you guys may be into music, but I feel like this is about, um, you know, you guys being focused elsewhere. For some of you guys, music is going to be helping you guys to heal. Okay. So let's see what you guys may um, need to surrender to or what could be a blockage here. Wow, honesty and pride. What did I say? You guys are going to be honest in this situation. Okay, and this says, I can't always expect the truth from others, but I can't expect it from myself and pride. I love myself and I see myself in everyone. So some of you guys, maybe um, pride was a factor here. Maybe some of you guys... Um, that could have prevented you from telling them up front, you know, hey, I don't want anything serious. But I do feel like you guys are definitely going to be honest in this situation. I don't feel like the relationship is going to end. I feel like it's just going to change a little bit. Okay, balance is here. And look, death is in reverse. So I don't feel like it's going to end. I just feel like it's going to change. It's going to change things. All right, let's see what your um, overall spirit that you wish to us. Wow, y'all, Lost Without You was playing, and I'm just, like, so weak just because of the fact that, like I said, when I start the reading, I need you bad, Jasmine Sullivan was playing. All right, so we have Serendipity on the bottom of the deck. All right, so some of you guys have a blessing coming in. Decision and Revelation is here. Like I said, there are going to be some changes. Some of you guys are just going to, like, you know, come to the realization and be open and honest with someone. All right, let's see what the um, message is for you guys. Depending on how long they are, I may read both. Okay, so this says, you will soon find the answer you seek. Sit quietly, bring your focus to your breath and meditate. Pay attention to what you feel in your heart. The answer will surface from within. It is understandable that the current circumstance is creating anxiety and stress in your life. What did I say? That's this conflict and defeat. It says it is human nature to want to make sense of everything in our lives. However, don't waste your energy trying to figure out everything logically, for this will only cause further confusion. Trust the loving guidance within you and know that all unfolds in perfect timing. All will fall into place over the coming two months. And let's see with this decision. That was very, just like I said, some of you guys are stressed or someone is stressed. This says you have an important decision to make at present and the decision you make will now affect many around you for a long time to come. Be sure you know what you really want before you act. Take a few deep breaths. Take time out to clear your mind and you will know. We are part of one creation energetically interconnected and therefore what affects one will also affect the whole. Everything you say and do and everything you fail to say or do has a flow on effect. A positive effect can only be achieved by being true to yourself. The right decision is the one that sits comfortably inside of your heart. Don't make your decision based on guilt or what you think you should do. Be true to you for it is only by being true to yourself that you can be true to others. Wow. Ooh, that was deep. Okay, this is all about this honesty. This is definitely about this honesty. So, this is what I have of my gems. If you guys did enjoy your reading, do like, share, comment, subscribe. And until next time, I'm sending you guys love and light. Bye, guys.